Hello, hello, it's Thumbflit here. Here's an item on counting. Take a look at the figure on the left. We do have eight right triangles. How many ways are there to color three triangles such that no two of them share a common side? Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, um, there might be a lot of ways to solve the question, but Thumblet over here is going to provide you um, what, what I believe is the easiest solution. Now, take a look at the, the word no two. So, um, we've done this a lot of times on the channel. We're probably going to negate the no and make it a yes for now. We're going to do complementary counting. So, what we're going to do here is, all right, let's just say we know the total number of ways to color. That's just simply eight choose three because there are eight right triangles. I'm choosing three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to neg negate the no. I'm going to make it, I'm going to count how many ways are there to color three triangles such that two of them do share a common sign. So I'll remove the case where um, two um, triangles are adjacent, right? So, well, I want the two triangles to be adjacent. So I'm going to propose a method here. I'm going to label the triangles um, clockwise for well, 1 to 8. So, and I'm going to select a pair of triangles that are adjacent. So I have 8 possible pairs. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, all the way until 8, 1. And I'm just going to count how many triangles are there in each of the cases such that 1, 2 are together, 2, 3 are together, and so on until 8, 1. Now, I, I guess it's pretty obvious that for each case here, um, there would be six cases because for one and two, obviously there are six other triangles to choose from, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And so that's going to give me six cases here. So obviously I'm going to select a pair and it's going to give me eight minus two. So six options remaining for the, um, like the third triangle in the list. So, so far I'm adding them up. I should have 48 cases. Now there's a problem though. Um, there's an issue of double counting because, for example, um, under the 1, 2 case, I could first choose the pair, 1, 2, and then select a third side, uh, sorry, a third triangle, maybe in this case, 3. But that is the same thing as counting, uh, let's just say we, ha we counted 2, 3, and then picking the third triangle as 1. We, we can't consider them as a new case because it's generally, it's, the, it's just the same triple of triangles. So, in fact, um, under the 1, 2, and the 2, 3 case, we have repeated the 1, 2, 3, triple. Under the 2, 3, and the 3, 4, we repeated the 2, 3, 4, all the way until 7, 8, and 8, 1. We're going to repeat the 7, 8, 1, triple. And there's actually one more. 1, 2, and 8, 1. These two uh, give us a 8, 1, 2. They give us an 8, 1, 2, triple that we have to exclude. So that's to account for double counting. So that's probably like some of um, uh, the most common issues when we do kind of listing. Uh, we might double count. So always check out, uh, look out for these because they, they do happen. Okay, so going back, um, what we're going to do is, well, we had 48 cases, right? From taking the adjacent uh, pair first and then choosing the third uh, possible triangle. But we have to subtract eight. So we have eight cases here, but we have to subtract. So we know that, well, we know that the all a while ago, that's eight choose three, right? And then we've selected, uh, we've got the pair of adjacent, we got um, the number of ways to color such that we have a pair of adjacent triangles. 48 was everything, but we had to subtract an eight to account for double counting. So we just have to evaluate this one, right? So eight choose three, that's eight times seven times six divided by three times two times one. Luckily, we could cancel out the 6, so 8 times 7, that's going to give me 56, minus 48 minus 8, that's going to give me 40. We're going to get the final answer here of 16, right? So there would be 16 ways to color three triangles such that no two of them is adjacent. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.